I have a no transplant winter sewing update for you. I thought you'd like to see how they did. This is a new twist on winter sewing where you don't use the milk jugs, but you actually put the seeds right in the containers and then you cover them with plastic domes with holes in the top, like these right here. Now I'm holding it all, um, my three dogs in one hand and the camera in the other, so I can't pick anything up to show you, but I'm gonna give you a quick buzz and let you see. These right here have been in eight weeks. The basil. Looks really good, it's a little thick. I'm gonna thin some out, put them in little cups and move them around. This was the only one that was kind of a bust. It bolted pretty quickly. I ate some of the spinach there, but now it's going to seed, so I'm leaving it to go to seed. This is the spring onions. That's been in eight weeks. My carrots, doing fantastic. This is a mescaline mix on one side and parsley on the right. I've already been eating a lot of the mescaline mix there. This was the Upland Crest, which I have turned out to love. It's number two after arugula. Um, nothing will take the place. Oh, I got a what are they called? Cicada in my hair. They're everywhere. I mean, we have like a million on our property. I'm going to do a video on it. Um, that down in there is my dinosaur kale. That's only been in four weeks. 429, and it's like 6-1 now. Look at that lettuce. That's been in four weeks. I've been eating out of that. This was a gift. Somebody gave me these Cubanelle sweet peppers. Now, those look like weeds to me. I've never grown Cubanelles. I can't believe the whole package. It was right out of the original package from the, from the seed store. Turned into weeds. So if anybody knows if those are Cubanelle peppers, tell me and I won't pull them out. But I'm about ready to pull them out. Down here is a mix of my seeds from uh, last year. That's romaine and some red leaf and some butter crunch. That's some, I think, giant spinach. Looking really good. Gonna start eating baby spinach soon. We got the white Lisbon onions, scallions, doing fine. And then over here, the last two, that is my Brussels sprouts right there. And you can see I'm using this dome really loosely. It's not even getting a greenhouse effect. I'm basically keeping the cabbage moth off of it. And yesterday, I saw my first cabbage moth that turns into the cabbage worm. So I'm just laying this cover here. I haven't even had time to cut it properly because it's protecting my fruit trees from the cicadas and they even get inside even though I have it totally wrapped up I've pulled out like five of them inside so overall oh there were two that are missing if you saw my original video you've got to see the original um, when I introduced no transplant winter sowing we used to call it no transplant direct winter sowing but that was too long so it's just no transplant winter sowing um, make sure you watch that video there were two uh, that were dill and celery and, not, and they were a gift from a giveaway. I, I rarely do giveaways um, or uh, seed swaps because so many times they're bad seeds. And you wait for two months for some seeds to come up and they turn out to be a bust. So be sure you're really careful who you take seeds from. Otherwise, it's a total waste of your energy and you have a loss of a vegetable that season. So the celery and dill didn't come up at all. But everything else is fantastic. I'm very happy with it. Next year, I'm going to actually do my tomatoes and peppers with this method to see if they do even better than in the milk jugs. Um, I'm going to try everything. It's just fantastic to have it all done and not have to transplant. All right, I'm out of here for now. Sending you much love from my garden to yours. Don't forget to subscribe and a thumbs up is always appreciated. Love you guys. Bye-bye.